I have a question in regards to forgiveness. Um, so suppose someone who you're close to, very close to, has trespassed you and hurt you by doing something very wrong. And not only hurt you, but hurt the loved ones around you terribly. But you still care about this person very much, and, but it's hard for you to face them now. How or what would you advise in going throughout the forgiveness process and learning to let go? If I were to ask that person, do you think that person also feels that he or she did something terribly wrong? Yes. <laughs> So, you know, that person might be wrong from my perspective. Do you think that person also admits that he or she was wrong? Yes, they have. So if that person admitted that they did wrong, we can just go ahead and forgive them. <laughs> um, I just need more advice on how to be able to accept and move on from what happened in order to forgive them. 그가 잘못한 행동일까요? 내가 원하지 않는 행동이었을까요? So was it something that they did wrong or was it something that you didn't want them to do? Both. <웃음> 어떤 것이 잘못된 행동입니까? So what was so wrong about it? Um it was wrong in regards to the rules of something as well as not only hurting that person, but the loved ones around them. 당신이 솔직하게 어떤 일이라고 얘기하면 문제를 풀기 쉬운데 프라이버시와 관계되니까 아마 얘기를 못 하는 것 같아요. So it's a lot easier if you could be more transparent about the exact nature of the transgression. But you know, if you know, if it's personal matter or private matter, then that's fine. 어왜 용서를 하려고 합니까 그러면? Then why do you feel the need to forgive them? Um, because this person is still a prominent factor in my life, and I care about very much. Mm, so I hope you don't misunderstand because I'm working on you know limited description facts here. So the ultimate, the best solution is there should be nothing to forgive. 진정한 용서는 용서할 것이 없을 없다는 것을 알 때입니다. So a genuine forgiveness is when you realize that there really is nothing to forgive. 용서해 준다는 것은 그 사람이 잘못했다는 얘기. So when you say you need to forgive others, you're holding on to the fact that that person did something wrong unto you. 그렇기 때문에 계속 용서를 해도 상처가 남아 있습니다. So if as long as you hold on to that thought, you'll still have that hurt, that scar. Mm, Even 나중에, after forgiveness, because it'll come back to you, because you still carry that trauma. Mm, but if you consider he did nothing wrong, and so there's nothing to forgive about, you have to reach that state. Only then can you move on from that trauma. So you may ask. He did something wrong. How can I say he didn't do anything wrong? Then he just you know, acted out of his own desire. And desire, the root of desire is ignorance. He just didn't know. He didn't mean to hurt you. For example, he, you know, he embraced you or hugged you against your will. And you were traumatized by that. 
어, 그런 나를 상처 주려고 한 거는 아니에요. But he didn't hug you because he wanted to hurt you. 깨안고 싶어서 깨하는 거예요. He can say I only wanted to hug you because I wanted to. 어, 그렇기 때문에 뭐 그가 어떤 의도를 했던 내가 피해를 입었다면 So, you know, whatever intention his actions might have been, if you feel hurt by that, 나는 이것을 어, 어, 고소를 할 수가 있습니다. Yeah, you can sue him. 어, 그러나 내가 그럴 할 의향이 없다면 But if you don't want to engage in any those type of actions, 어, 이 상처에서 벗어나려면 To be free from your hurts, from your trauma, 그 행위에 대한 이해입니다. You have to understand that action, where it came from. 어, 그것이 바람직한 행동은 아니지만 Although it wasn't a desired, desirable action, 그가 좋아서 나를 깨안았을 뿐이다. It's just that he actually was driven by his desire. 그렇게 받아들일 때 상처는 없어집니다. So once you actually understand where it came from, you you are free from your trauma. 그래서 용서할 것이 없어야 한다는 거. So that's why I'm saying there is you know you should work so that there is nothing to forgive about. 음, 그가 그럴 수도 있었다 하는 거. You know it's something that he just did. 그러나 그것이 바람직하지 않다면. But if that's not desired, desirable, 우리는 그것을 시정해야 합니다. And we have to help him fix it. 이것이 미움 없이 시정을 요구할 수 있어야 합니다. So you don't, you can demand that he fix certain behavior without feeling hatred towards that. 그러니까 미움이 있으면 보복, 그 행위에 대한 내가 보복을 하는 거고요. Because if you hold a sort of a hatred towards that, you are engaging in some kind of vengeance or revenge. 미움이 없지만은 다른 사람에게 앞으로 더큰 피해를 막기 위해서 내가 그것을 제재를 가해야 합니다. But if you want to prevent him doing that to anybody else or hurting others, then you have to try to fix it without carrying that emotional baggage. 음, 그것은 우리가 사회인으로서 정의를 실현하는 겁니다. And you are engaging at that sense in, a war, in social justice as a part of this society. 음, 다시 말씀드리면 in other words, 그가 나를 깨안았을 때 For example, he hugged you against your will. 내 상처는 my trauma. 아, 그가 나를 좋아서 깨안았다. 이렇게 okay. 하면 내 상처는 사라집니다. My trauma or my hurt disappears when I admit that he was acting out of his own desire to, you know, to hug me. 아, 그러나 그가 또 다른 여자를 깨안을 수 있다고 생각된다면. But if you think that he might try to do the same thing with another woman. 아, 그 남자를 성추행범으로 고소를 해야 합니다. Then you actually have the duty to Uh, to accuse him and bring out his act into the surface and accuse him for sexual uh, attack. 그래야 그 행위가 멈추게 됩니다. In order to try to stop him from doing this to anybody else. Okay, thank you very much. <웃음> 지금 얘기가 조금 어려운 얘기죠? It's a little difficult. Yeah. 음. 우리는 분노에 의해서 어떤 변화를 시키려고 합니다. So we try to change this world out of our sense of anger. 아, 분노를 내려놔라 하면 아무런 사회적인 변화의 동력을 아, 아, 사회적인 변화의 동력마저도 같이 버리게 됩니다. So if we tell people to let go of your anger, they also lose their motivation to change the world. 네, 화가 나는 것은 내 개인 문제입니다. But anger is a personal issue. 어, 그러나 그것이 바람직하지 않다면 But if that's not desirable, 어, 우리는 그것을 어, 사회적인 변화를 가져와야 합니다. But we still is beholden, we are still beholden to bring about a transformation. 그래서 그런 행위가 다시 없도록 우리는 행동해야 합니다. And try to bring about so that such behavior does not occur again. 불교를 잘못 받아들이게 되면 So if you don't understand Buddhism properly, 항상 마음의 평화를 갖게 되면 You know, and people and try to pursue only a peace of mind. 사회적인 부정의를 그냥 방치한다 이렇게 잘못 생각할 수가 있습니다. Some people may misunderstand, and Buddhism is all about individual peace and allows a lot of the social ills to go unchecked. 그렇지 않습니다. That's not so. 비유를 들어서 말씀드리면, for example, 어, 호랑이가 내 어머니를 물어 주겠다. A tiger, you know, and uh, killed my mother. 음, 그래서 내가 호랑이를 죽였다. And so I killed the tiger in return. 그러면 살인 행위, 살 살상입니다. And that's in Buddhism is killing, is taking off another life. 음, 그러나 그 호랑이가 이웃집 할머니 또또 물려고 한다. But if that same tiger tries to kill uh, a neighboring woman. 음, 그래서 내 어머니를 물려주긴 보복에 의해서가 아니라 
이웃집 할머니를 살리기 위해서 나는 호랑이를 사살할 수도 있습니다. Then you're justified in taking action and killing the tiger not out of revenge for your mother's death, but in order to prevent another sacrifice. 만약 이거 살상 행위에 과보가 있다면 And if there's any karma associated with that killing of their life, 음, 그것을 기꺼이 받습니다. And you acknowledge that and receive that. 왜냐하면 사람을 살리기 위해서는 그 희생을 감수해야 합니다. Because you're willingly sacrificing uh, your karma in order to save another's life. 음, 나는 살리려고 했기 때문에 나는 아무 잘못이 없다는 건 아니에요. I'm not saying you did not do anything wrong just because we're trying to help others. 잘못이 있다면 그 수용합니다. You're just saying, admitting that if there is something wrong that I did, 그러나, I'll be willing to accept it. 이 할머니를 살려야 합니다. But first and foremost, you have to save this woman. 그런데 어, 이건 불교가 조금 잘못 알려져 있습니다. So I think that's a misunderstand, source of misunderstanding about Buddhism. 어, 자기만 편하면 된다. Saying that this is all, Buddhism is all about individual peace. 그것은 불교의 한 부분만 보는 겁니다. That's you're only looking at one aspect of Buddhism. 